Good day everyone and today we're going to talk about the advanced techniques in using Microsoft Excel. So first of all, Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet. So let us first define what is a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is a software application that allows us to manage data in the form of rows and columns. And besides that, there is also functions and formulas available that can get very useful in calculating data. Now, Microsoft Excel is one of the most commonly used spreadsheet tool. It can be used through businesses, students' grades, analysis, and many more. And now, Microsoft Excel is made up of columns, which is identified with alphabetic headings, and rows that is identified with numeric headings. When the columns and rows intersect, it is now called a cell, and the address of that cell is called the cell reference. Now, you can think of the cell as the house, and the cell reference as the specific address of that house. Now, we use cell reference in creating formulas in Microsoft Excel to ensure that it is accurate. For example, you want to create a formula. You need to start with an equal sign and then follow it up with some cell references. For example, you want to multiply A1 and A2 and then add 3. You simply type it and once you hit enter, it will automatically total itself. And whenever you want to change a value from A1, A2, or A3, the total will also change automatically. Moving on to the terms, active cell simply refers to the cell that is currently selected. Text or labels identifies what is the purpose of the cell. Number data or constant is a value that doesn't change and is directly inserted in a cell. Formula is a mathematical equation that calculates the values of the cell and mathematical operators is simply the basic operations in math. Now, functions are redefined formulas available in Excel. Instead of typing it manually, you can just type sum and input the cell reference, and voila, you have now a simple calculation. Just like the example here. It can also be a number range. Now, let's move on to the commonly used functions. First is sum that simply adds all the numbers, and second is the count that simply counts the number of cells that contain a number. That's it for my session, and I am now passing the torch to Ichi Nagase to further discuss the advanced techniques in using Microsoft Excel. Hello, today I will be discussing four functions in Excel, min, max, sum if, and if, both how to use them and what purpose they serve. Now the first one we will talk about is min. This is a function that runs a check on all cells within a specified range and finds the smallest numerical value among them. The way you use this function is as shown here on screen. Uh, make sure you replace x and y with cell values and a, while optional, can be used to add additional numbers into the function. An example for this function would be trying to find the lowest price for something you want to buy, like a house or a car. Now the next function we will talk about is max. This is a function that runs a check on all cells within a specific range and finds the largest value among them. The way you use this function is shown here on screen. Make sure you replace x and y with cell values, and a, while optional, can also be used to add additional numbers to this function. In short, this is a function similar to min, but the opposite. Instead of trying to find the smallest value, like in min, you're trying to find the highest value. An example of using this function would be trying to find the best performing employee in a company. Now the next function we'll talk about is sum if. This is a function that runs a check on all cells within a specific range and satisfies a condition you set yourself. Then it adds the result. The way you use this function is shown here on screen right now. Re make sure you replace x and y with cell values and a is where you add the condition into the function. Note, when you add the condition, make sure you add quotation marks near the start and the end, otherwise the condition will not be valid while inputting it. An example of you using this function would be trying to find the total expenses that went over budget while working on, say, a project. Now, the last function we will talk about is if. This is a function that runs a check on all cells to see if it satisfies a condition and gives an output depending on not it's true or false. The way you use this function is shown here on screen. Make sure you replace x and y with cell values, a and b with the desired outputs. Note, if both a and b are blank, it will default to true and false, both in all caps. A real-life example for this use would be trying to sort the students who passed a test. That's my report. Thank you for listening. Good day, everybody. So ngayon alam nyo na ang functions ng if. Bibigyan ko naman kayo ng mga examples ng if and count if functions. At ipapakita ko rin kung paano ito isolve. 
Pero bago tayo pumunta sa mga examples, balikan muna natin kung ano nga ba ang definition at function ng if and count if. So, ang function nga ng if ay kaya na itong mag-perform ng logical expression at may papakita nito ang value kung ang logic ay true or kung ang value na lumabas ay false. So, depende sa given kung ang value na lalabas ay true or false. At ito naman ang formula na ginagamit sa function na if. So, if parenthesis logical test then susunod ay ang value if true big sabihin yung value na lalabas kapag true and then susunod ay ang value kapag false yung logic then parenthesis so sa isay natin logical test ay logical expression na kayang ma-evaluate as true or false or pwedeng maisagot ng true or false Next naman ay value if true. Ito lang yung value na ipinapakita kapag true ang lumabas sa evaluation. And then lastly, value if false. Yung lumalabas na value kapag ang expression ay evaluated as false. Sa unang sample problem natin, kailangan daw ipakita na past ang isang estudyante kapag ang average niya ay higher than 75 at failed naman kung hindi ito lumagpas or hindi siya higher than 75 So, para sagutan ng problem na ito kailangan natin i-insert yung formula So, equals if and then parenthesis and then para sa example na ito ang cell na H2 and then is higher On, or equal to 75 and then susunod na ilalagay ang value if true and in this case I passed and then ang susunod na ilalagay ang value if false which is failed and then tatapusin lang yung formula with a parenthesis makikita naman natin sa remarks na ang mga batang nagkaroon ng past ay ang may average na 93.4 at 93.2. Samantalang ang bata na may average na 73.6 ay failed. Susunod naman ay ang function ng count if. Ang function nito ay binibilang lang niya yung mga cells sa loob ng range na may sinasagot or may hinihinging criteria. At ito nga ang formula. Equals count if parenthesis range or yung cells na binibilang or yung cells na kailangang hanapan ng bibilangin. And then next ay yung criteria. Or basically yung criteria na kung ito ang mga ba ay kailangan bilangin. And then close parenthesis. So yung unang nga range, the range of cells to count yung pangalawa criteria the criteria that determines which cells are to be counted sa pangalawang sample problem naman kailangan ng mabilang ang mga estudyante mayroong 90 na grades so sa example na ito kailangan natin gamitin yung function na count if so para gamitin ito lalagay natin equals count if parenthesis select natin yung buong range ng cells na gagamit na pagbabasehan natin which is B2 hanggang B14 or B13 and then next ay ilalagay natin yung criteria which is less than equals 90 and then parenthesis at ang sagot naman sa problem na ito ay 4 lamang. Dahil ang mga batang nagkaroon lang ng 90 na grade sa first quarter ay si Descotan, Piano, Duhina, and Lising. Sa sample problem number 3 naman, kailangan daw natin ma-display ang within the budget kapag ang 
total amount ng example ay less than 1,500. And kailangan din lumabas na over the budget kapag higher than 1,500 naman ang lumabas sa logical test. Sa sample problem number 3 naman, kailangan daw ipakita ang within the budget kapag mas less than ang ang total amount sa 1,500. So, ganito natin siya gagawin. Gagamitin natin yung formula na if and then parenthesis and then type natin or isa-select yung column ng total amount which is itong D2. And then, lalagay natin less than 1,500 gaya ng sabi sa problem and then comma susunod na ilalagay natin ay yung value if true which is within the budget and then ang last ay yung value if false or over the budget and then close parenthesis enter so tama ang logic natin within the budget siya dahil ang total amount natin ay 1,000 at 1,500 yung pinagbabasa natin so pwede nang natin siya i-copy sa the rest ng um, examples or given and automatic na rin mag apply yung formula so 3,000 over the budget 400 within the budget 3,000 over the budget and 2,000 over the budget Sa sample number 4 naman, kailangan daw nating bilangin ang mga respondents na may glucose level na 90 pataas. At sa last sample problem naman natin, kailangan daw natin ipakita ang respondents na may glucose level na lalagpas sa 90. And let's see how it Gagamitin natin yung function na count if. So equals count if. Open parenthesis. Then, select natin yung range, which is C4, drug, hanggang C10, comma, and then, less than 90, and then, close parenthesis, enter. So, makikita natin 4, and kung bibilangin natin manually, tama naman. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching.